Welcome to St. Joseph Church Prep for levels 1A, 1B, 2A, and 2B. Let's begin with our opening prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Welcome back. We hope you enjoy your time off and you are ready to learn about our Catholic faith. This week we will learn about the Holy Family and the Epiphany of the Lord. This is not in your book, so you will not be using the book this week. Last Sunday, we celebrated the Feast Day of the Holy Family. The Feast of the Holy Family celebrates the holiness and joy of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph of Nazareth. The Feast Day comes after Christmas to remind us of the importance of family and that God chose to be born and be part of a family, just like us. The Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph is a great example and model for our own families to follow. They too went through difficult situations, but never lost their faith in God and always did as God said. They prayed and they showed their love for God and others. How can you and your family be more like the Holy Family? Today we celebrate the Epiphany of the Lord. In other countries, this is celebrated on January 6. Epiphany means that Jesus shows us that he is the Son of God. We are shown this through the visit of the Magi to baby Jesus. Let's take a look at a story from the Bible. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem, Magi came from the east to Jerusalem and said, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to honor him. When the king heard this, he was upset. He called together all the chief priests and teachers and asked where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem, as written through the prophet. Then the king called the Magi secretly and found out more from them. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way and followed the star they had seen until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were very happy. On entering to the house, they saw the child and his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and more. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to the king, they returned to their country by another way. If you were alive during the time that Jesus was born, what kind of gifts would you have given him? In other countries, people exchange gifts, and the Magi bring gifts to children on January 6. Some celebrate by gathering with family and friends and eating rosca de reyes, a sweet bread, among other traditional foods. The most important thing to remember, though, on this day, as on Christmas Day, is that Jesus should remain the main reason for our celebration. He came to save us. How do you plan to celebrate? This ends this week's lesson. We cannot wait to see you in person next week. For homework, do one of the following. Draw a picture of your family and tell us how you plan to be more like the Holy Family. Or you can draw a picture of the Magi and baby Jesus and tell us what gift do you plan to give Jesus this year. Please bring your completed homework with you when, you, when we meet in person on Sunday, January 9th. De tarea esta semana, pueden escoger una de las siguientes actividades. Dibujar a su familia y escribir cómo planean 
ser más como la familia sagrada, o dibujar a los reyes magos y el niño Jesús, y escribir qué regalo piensan ofrecerle a Jesús este año. Su tarea debe de ser entregada cuando nos reunamos en persona el domingo 9 de enero. As always, let's end with our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I adore you. Jesus, I give you thanks. Jesus, I ask for your forgiveness. Jesus, I ask for your help. Jesus, I offer myself to you like Mary. Amen.